I see God all the time. How about you? I see all the evidence that he has left. So I was doing my usual thing uh, here at Young and Dundas, uh, preaching the gospel. And uh, I don't know exactly who did it, but I know there was a company of uh, some young men that weren't too happy about what I was saying. And out of nowhere, I got one of the hardest snacks I ever got. It broke uh, my cheekbone and uh, sent me to the hospital. All the time, you know, I get people that I don't mind the uh, the verbal disagreements. It's the physical, in your face, throwing things. Uh, I mean, I, I, I encourage whatever uh, response they have verbally, but it's it's the physical that uh, I get and I don't appreciate. So, uh, well, I hope you don't multiply. I'm not really against really condoms, don't. but I don't think condoms will don't save you from condemnation. Reproduce. That's the problem. Don't reproduce. No, uh, that's a, a choice that I think I'll leave uh, between me and God. And you feel that this assault was a result of your religious beliefs? You oh, were attacked? I, I believe so. I believe so. I believe it could have been anybody else saying the same thing. I don't believe they had anything against me as a person. Uh, I believe it's because of what I said and what I stand for, which is uh, my religious yeah. conviction. Yeah. Now your style is confrontational. We even just out here see you, of course. you know, combating with a few people verbally. That's right. Yeah. What do you say to people who say, hey, you had it coming? Well, then we get back to this a uh, little bit of a hypocritical victim shaming. All I'm asking for is, hey, you can walk away, you can stop, you can engage, but let's not get physical. Uh, you know, that's not warranted. And so, uh, no, I couldn't agree with that. I don't believe um, that uh, there's any basis for, for, for thinking that way. Well, what about the thousands of members of the LGBT community? Do you, what do you think? Do you think God hates them all or do you think God loves them? I think them? God hates sin and he loves people, so he wants to bring them out of what is destructive. I think he accepts them for who they are, who they are and loves them. Well, God is truth, and not everything that we do is truth, and not everything that we do is constructive. And obviously, you must be a big defender of free speech. Are you concerned that your free speech is being impacted by these sort of assaults? Uh, it says it. Uh, we're front line here, so we see uh, what's happening to free speech. And uh, I'm a firm believer that freedom of speech protects unpopular speech. And a lot of what we do and say is not very popular, although we love people. You don't have to, but you believe something, and it's either gonna get you to heaven or hell. There is, there's a little bit of heaven here, and there's a little bit of hell here. I'm not in agreement with hate speech, but I am in agreement with what I believe as a Christian, of uh, the truth of God's word and my freedom to preach that. And uh, yeah, I see it eroding. Uh, it's really s speech suppression, and uh, it's uh, it's on the decline. Yeah. You want to get Captain Jesus on your ship, not Captain Morgan. He knows where he's going.